Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about goiter. A goiter is any visible enlargement of the thyroid gland with or without increased secretion of thyroxine and stridothyronine. So a goiter differs from thyrotoxicosis in that Thyrotoxicosis is characterized by increased thyroxine or tridothyronine or both and a goiter in thyrotoxicosis can come as a complication of hypothyroidism. The thyroid gland is situated in the neck in front of the larynx and trachea. The functions of this gland, the thyroid gland, includes to produce thyroxine that is T4 and stridothyronine that is T3 which in general uh, regulates the metabolism of all cells that is conversion of oxygen and glucose to form energy. T4 and T3 they also regulate the heart rate, normal body temperature and blood sugar. The thyroid gland also produce calcitonin hormone which lowers raised calcium in blood. It does this by promoting storage of calcium in bone cells and also by inhibiting reabsorption of calcium in renal tubules. Now you also need to understand how thyroid hormone are produced uh, which are T4 and T3. Here is the flow. The hypothalamus in the brain will first release an inactive hormone thyrotropin releasing hormone which will stimulate the release of thyroid stimulating hormone from the anterior pituitary gland. Thereafter, the thyroid stimulating hormone will be directed to the thyroid gland where it will have an impact and again stimulate the thyroid gland to release thyroxine that is T4 and stridothyronine that is T3. When there is high levels of T3 and T4 in the bloodstream, a negative feedback will be sent to the hypothalamus to stop releasing thyrotropin releasing hormone which in turn thyroid stimulating hormone will be inhibited and there will be no production of T3 and T4. Again, when there is low levels of T3 and T4 in the bloodstream, a positive feedback will be sent to the hypothalamus to start releasing thyrotropin releasing hormone and thyroid stimulating hormone will be stimulated from the anterior pituitary gland which will further cause the production of T3 and T4 from the thyroid gland. Apart from that, you also need to understand that for T3 and T4 to meet or to perform their functions fully, iodine is needed and this iodine is gotten from foods like seafoods, iodated table salt and so on. The thyroid gland takes up iodine from the blood which is known as iodine trapping as the blood is passing through the thyroid gland. So in simple terms we are saying that without iodine T3 and T4 will not be produced. Now, having that background, due to absence of iodine, there will be no T3 and T4 produced by the thyroid gland, meaning a positive feedback will continuously be sent to the hypothalamus to be releasing more thyroid stimulating hormone without knowing that actually there is absence of iodine in the body or bloodstream. But unfortunately, the pituitary gland won't detect that, so it will be secreting more and more thyroid stimulating hormone which will negatively cause the thyroid gland to work harder trying to secrete T3 and T4 but due to lack of iodine unfortunately these hormones will not be secreted or do their functions. This means that due to overworking of the thyroid gland trying to secrete T3 and T4 will result in abnormal enlargement of the thyroid gland which we are calling a goiter. So now if there is absence of T3 and T4 meaning there will be no those functions we mentioned area of we mentioned earlier of these hormones. Thank you.